Hi, I'm Jen Mansier, and I'm going to be teaching the class um, about confession here at Grace for the God the Artist series coming up. And when I think about confession, I guess um, the first step is acknowledging that I'm a sinner. And um, without acknowledging that there is right and wrong and there is sin in this very gray culture that we live in. I mean, what's even the point of Jesus? He would just be like this really cool TED Talk motivational speaker kind of guy. And we don't need one of those. (laughs) We don't need another one of those. We need a savior. I need a savior. And um, so step one acknowledge I'm a sinner and then to delve a little deeper into that and ask myself or ask God like to search me and know know my heart and unclean any wicked way in me bring that to the forefront of my mind because so often it's those little little quote-unquote sins that we are really crippled by they've like I've made agreements and I've I've decided like yeah that's actually who I am it's my enneagram number you know like this is who I am it's so ingrained in my habits and my behavioral patterns that I don't even see it so dear Jesus bring this to the front of my mind and lead me in the way everlasting it it's um a new concept for me to think about confession as a daily practice, like the discipline of confessing. I think growing up uh, in Baptist church, it wasn't, it's not something more like Catholics did. And it's, it was like, well, you, other than the initial, like getting saved and confess, you know, Romans Road. It wasn't something that I kept coming back to. And um, I want it to be more of a practice in my life so that I keep putting, I keep um, returning to Jesus as the forgiver of my sins. And I keep mindful of patterns in my life that I want to change. And I also think it's important to maybe share with other believers, you know, like with confessing um, with trusted believers so that they can provide that understanding and human connection like over our frailties and provide accountability and but also help, you know, like we're, we don't have to struggle alone. We can provide each other with encouragement and resources and stuff like that. So for this specific class on confession, I I want to do what I'm you see me doing here where I we're painting out our confession and then symbolically covering that with red tissue paper uh, to represent Jesus' blood and I want it to end it with uh, talking about our new identity and who we are in Jesus. It's so important to see ourselves the way that Jesus sees us. And he says we're holy and made new and that we're children of the king. I mean, wow. We're washed clean. We're redeemed. We're justified. We're not ashamed. We're bold. He gives us that spirit of boldness. Um, All these wonderful things. And I'm going to end by reading 1 John 5 through 9. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie. Do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness.